Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. Now, I guess you could say this is going to be an informal review. I mean, it's a full-blown review, don't count me wrong. Uh, it's going to be a review, I'm going to, you know... I'm going to talk about the pizza, I'm going to consume it, I'm going to assess it, and everything in between. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's more of an informal review, in that no planning really went into this. Um, I was, you know, I guess it's late, it's around nearing 1am, 2am, I can't even tell anymore. Um, I think 1am, to be exact. Anyway, I was sitting here doing some work, and I was getting a little bit hungry, of course. And I was hungry for pizza, and usually I always get pepperoni pizza. I mean, that's my that's my personal favorite pizza. Uh, I always like the pepperoni pizza. Sometimes I'll get pizza with a little bacon on it. Uh, but pepperoni is always my favorite. And when I get pizza, I either usually... I mean, there's, there's three chains that I frequent the most. Uh, you have Domino's, and I usually just get them because they keep some pretty late hours and they deliver. That's why I always sometimes go with them. Papa John's, because lately I've noticed their, their pizza's actually getting really good. And then the long standard of Pizza Hut. Well, I decided to live on the edge a little bit. And I was also, I mean, literally just a couple minutes ago, I was feeling, you know, maybe I'm going to do a review too. I like doing these. I like getting in front of the camera and sometimes just having a chat too. And I was kind of feeling in the mood for that and also review at the same time. So I thought, why not, uh, why not spice it up a bit? And uh, get something interesting from Pizza Hut. Maybe try it out and just talk a little bit at the same time. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, the Pizza Hut, this one was open pretty late. I was actually surprised at how late it was open. And I was looking around in the menu and I decided, you know, they have all these specialty pizzas. It's like they're all completely forgotten about. You know, no one cares about them. They don't even promote them anymore. I mean, when was the last time, really, that you saw any sort of promo... For the backyard barbecue chicken pizza. I myself had never seen that before. I remember they used to have some stupid pizza called the Giddy Up pizza or something like that. I know I reviewed that a while back. Um, but this is different. This is their backyard barbecue uh, chicken pizza. I thought, yeah, that's very interesting. I'm going to try it out. Uh, I, I never really heard of it. They have like 20 other pizzas on the menu that are just like this one that seems... You know, no one even cares about them, but they're still there. And there are all these interesting flavors and concoctions, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So, I got this. This pizza, I should say, is hand-tossed. You can get it large or medium, and I got a medium this time around. The crust, by default, uh, comes with a toasted cheddar blend on it. So maybe a little, little crunch or something. The interesting thing about the pizza is that it comes with a barbecue sauce as the sauce so it doesn't have any tomato sauce it's just honey barbecue actually comes with your standard cheese comes with little chunks of grilled chicken um bacon and usually it has um, red onions on it but again this is really essentially my dinner that i'm reviewing and i didn't want to get onions because those i mean they are potent in terms of the scent and i just didn't want to have to deal with that and have the room in the car and whatever smelling like onions for days on end so, let's take a look here. Now, I see it. I think you see it too right now. Let me hold it up good to the camera here. Let's see how this lighting works. How this lighting situation works, I should say. But there's a close-up view for maybe a few seconds too many. And we'll rest it on the shoulder there, you can see. I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it myself and... There's me gracefully, in a graceful manner, holding the pizza, ever so gracefully on my shoulder. But, I think, I mean, I see it, maybe you see it too, where you'll see the pizza and you might say, well, you know, it looks like this has been sitting out for like a, an hour or two. I mean, it doesn't really look necessarily that fresh, but I could guarantee you, I mean, the bottom of the box is still quite hot. I picked this up. I, you know, I did turn the lights on and everything in advance. I came in here with the pizza and immediately just started filming. So, it is still fresh. I would say it's maybe, maybe 10 minutes fresh, 15 minutes fresh. So, 
I don't know how long it's been sitting at the Pizza Hut for, but it's only been in my possession for about 10 minutes. I can still feel that it is pretty warm, but this is what it looks like, at least. Anyway, let's grab a slice. Let's get a real close-up view of it. And, uh, again, I got it with no onions. I didn't want to have the scent, you know, to deal with. But you can see right here some of the barbecue sauce that is pooled up. Uh, so they do use that instead of just your tomato sauce. You can see some of the chunks of the grilled chicken right here, and some of the bacon also. So it's fairly simple. It's going to be interesting to try out, see how it works out. So anyway, it's the Backyard Barbecue Chicken Pizza from Pizza Hut going in. I'll try this crust in a minute. I don't know, did I? I guess I didn't. I, I guess I forgot the napkins. With that being said, I guess in memorandum of the name here, as if you were at an actual backyard barbecue, you just, it, I guess this is what they do at backyard barbecues. You use the next best thing. Now, the Backyard Barbecue Chicken Pizza, I'm going to close this to conserve its warmth. The Backyard Barbecue Chicken Pizza, it's a pizza of twists and turns. And it's something that I never thought I would really use to describe a Pizza Hut pizza. But I wouldn't be lying if I said, you know, it's likely the, at least not, maybe not the most, but one of the most adventurous pizzas I have ever consumed. Imagine yourself, it's around midnight. You go to the Pizza Hut, and you acquire the pizza. So you have this pizza in your possession, and you ordered it. You understand what's on it, honey barbecue sauce, the cheese, chicken, and bacon. And you might expect, because it's oven fresh, you might be able to smell, you know, the aroma of the chicken. Maybe even a little bit of the barbecue sauce. That's, you know, that's how you envision it. In reality, you get this pizza. You put it in the car. And it just reeks of, of nachos. And it, it smells rancid. You know, it just smells absolutely repulsive. And you're thinking, you know, what is this? This this smells disgusting. You set it up. You eat it. But you can't taste the nachos. I think, in my opinion, that is probably a very, as I would describe it, a very adventurous eating experience, in my opinion. Because it gives you this impression that it smells terrible. And that you're probably going to be dry heaving even before you actually eat it. And then you eat it. You can't taste the nachos. The smell has absolutely no correlation to the flavor whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, it's not even that bad at all. This is quite likely 
uh, maybe my second favorite pizza from Pizza Hut. Truth be told, I, I really haven't ever gotten this pizza before, but I had that one slice, and I really like it. You know, I like what I was trying so far. I really do. It's always interesting when they substitute the standard tomato sauce with a different type. So there's some pizzas that use a, a buffalo sauce, some that use a barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce actually blends very well with everything that you have. It goes well with the chicken, well with the bacon, it even complements the cheese and the crust very well. And it's a very flavorful but sweet barbecue sauce too. It has a little bit of sweet, no tang to it, uh, just a little bit of a sweetness. It's described as a honey barbecue sauce. And sometimes, if done right, if there is a little bit of sweetness with that pizza, it can make it taste actually very good, or it can taste disgusting. And this is one of those cases where it makes it taste very good, as a matter of fact. So the sauce, number one, excellent. The cheese distribution is on point, as one may describe it. Uh, the cheese is fine, tastes fine, and a good amount of it. Next comes the chicken. Now, for the sake of it, let's take a piece off right here, right? Here's your chicken. It's grilled chicken. Um, grilled chicken chunks, if you want to call it that. If you're looking for an exact comparison in taste, and this may go for the folks who have frequented uh, Pizza Hut. If you've ever had the boneless wings from Pizza Hut, this is the exact same wing meat as that. It's probably the boneless wings kind of cut up, or the same exact type of meat there. It tastes exactly the same as that. Um, it's still pretty juicy, pretty flavorful, and really exactly as the same exact type of cut of meat and everything that you would find in the boneless wings. But overall, they put a good amount of that chicken on, and it tastes really what you would expect it to taste, like for a pizza of this caliber, you could say. Uh, the bacon bits, if there's one complaint that I have, the bacon bits, they put a fair amount on, but I wish I could taste some more. I mean, they look like good, decent-sized chunks of bacon, but I really can't taste them that much. Um, so that's my one issue. But overall, I mean, for what you're getting, you could really taste the chicken, could really taste that barbecue sauce. I wish I could taste the bacon a little bit more, but for what it is, I, I, I do enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of the crust here, let you know what I think on that. You can really, you can taste that toasted cheddar on the crust. If there's one issue with it, it's dry. Mm. Now, one thing that I would recommend you could get, perhaps, is an extra sauce. They can provide you with dipping sauces for like 50 cents a piece, and they get a little cup size of it. Maybe get some dipping sauce of whatever choice you want. You can go marinara, you can go extra barbecue, or get anything in between to kind of dip the crust in, because that crust is just a little bit dry, and I think a dipping sauce would complement it very well, but you could most certainly taste that toasted cheddar. So overall, I think, uh, I, think I pretty much wrapped up what's, uh, what's in this pizza. Fairly pricey, but that's Pizza Hut for you. They always have some deals and coupons you can perhaps find. So this medium pizza costs $12, which again is a little expensive, but search online for some deals, they might have some, you might be able to find something to lower the tab a little bit. Um, but for what you're getting, I say it is a pretty good pizza. You know, it might seem a little bit odd, well, you know, how is it going to taste with the substitution of the barbecue sauce to the marinara, uh, instead of the marinara sauce, but it works out well. The chicken is good, they put a good amount of bacon on, and you might be able to taste it more on yours. And the crust itself is pretty good too. So overall, out of 10, I would rate this pizza... And now I'm going to give it an 8.95 an 8 out of 10. Uh, 8.95 out of 10. Uh, and I think it's deserving of that. You could see that it would get a lot higher of a rating if I could taste the bacon more. But everything that's there is still quite good as it is. So that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is an informal review. Just a mix of kind of just miscellaneous talk and discussion. Uh, also coupled with a pizza review as well. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. Your feedback is always most appreciated. And until next time, thank you. Take care. This is Running on Empty, Food Review, and uh, goodbye.